Hello guys. In this occasion, we will talk about the next part of the proposal, that is research methodology. We will not talk about it detail. Why? Because in chapter 3, chapter 3, you will talk about the research methodology in detail. For example, if you use qualitative research, you do not need to mention what qualitative research is in this part but you will talk about it qualitative research in detail in chapter 3 not in the proposal in the proposal when we talk about the research methodology uh, we just talk about the process the process that you take to do the research for example if your research is using the books for example as the main source the first process the first step you do in doing this research is read the book of course to read the book and if the data are taken from television or for, from movie for example the first part you will have to take is watch the movie right so the first part in this research methodology okay let's talk about that what we have to do here is dealing with the books so the first part is you read the book okay well actually it's not only about the uh, about reading the book no but since i am talking about the main source are taken from book so the first part or the first step we do is reading the book okay when we read the book what should we do while reading the book yes you're right of course we take note what kind of note that we have to write the data you take the data you write the data that you find in the books for example if you are talking or if your research is about phrasal verbs the data are of course phrasal verbs you take note about the phrasal verbs your data are written here in this process okay after that what should we do after we have the data of course we should classify the data what kind of classification that you we have to make well it's up to you it doesn't mean that you can make any classification no your classification must be based on the data for example your data is about phrasal verb from the form of the phrasal verb phrasal verb can be from verb plus preposition for example or from noun plus oh sorry verb plus noun for example yes so your classification is based on this first classification of data is verb plus preposition the second one is verb plus noun that's the classification the classification of the data are is based on the form of the phrasal verb you can make any other classification as long as it is based on your research can be based on the theory that you are using for example the theory if the phrasal verb is based on the translation of phrasal verb whether the translation is equivalent or not equivalent and not equivalent so your data classification is based on the equivalent and non-equivalent 
So you will have two classification of data, equivalent and not equivalent. Another classification is based on the form. So it's up to you to make the form or to make the classification of the data. Okay, and then what is the next part? Of course, after you have the classification of data, what you have to do is analyze the data. How you analyze the data? Of course, you use the theory. What kind of theory you use? Then you analyze the data based or use this theory. For example, you use the theory Componential Analysis. Therefore, you explain that your data will be analyzed using Componential Analysis. Okay? Or if you use another theory, for example, Contextual Translation. So, you should explain that your data will be analyzed using contextual translation should you use or explain the step the process of the translation not needed why because as i said before that in chapter three you will expose this in detail so here you do not need to explain or elaborate in detail no just like this or add something as you wish and then the last one after you analyze what you get right conclusion so you make the conclusion of the data of the analysis after you analyze using the theory then you come to the conclusion so these are the steps or the, uh, the, the research method in doing the research. You just write it like this in your proposal. You do not need to explain detail. No. Why? Because you, there is a part in which you can explain detail. That is in chapter 3, not in chapter 1. In chapter 1, you just explain. Uh, just mention in small detail, not very detail, just like this, the steps that you take to do the research. Okay? Clear? All right. Next, uh, we will talk the next part, that is the theoretical review. In this part, you will talk about the theory that you use. Theory that you use. What theory? As the first, or before I said that one example of the, this theory is Componential Analysis, for example. So you explain, so you use theory, you explain what is, what is this? explain this theoretic the theory Componential Analysis okay and then what kind of research you use in translation okay in translation then you explain what the translation is theory of translation and the data you take are preserved. Now, you also explain the theory about preserves. So, if you are doing the research in the translation of preserves based on the componential analysis, you explain the what translation is. The theory of the translation, you also explain the theory of phrasal verbs and the theory of componential analysis.
these are the main point the main content of theoretical review okay but is it enough yes but sometimes you need to explain or you need to show another theory or another previous research but it is not important not essential uh, about the previous research so if you do not want to explain previous research about this you do not need to write it okay what you need to do is just write the theory that you are using in your research okay i hope you understand this and then let's come to the last part come to the last part of the proposal that is paper organization in this paper organization you explain how many chapters your research will be mostly our research consists of five chapters one two three four and five five chapters what is chapter one introduction and chapter two theoretical review theoretical framework chapter three research methodology yeah as i told you before we have research methodology in chapter three chapter four analysis right and the last chapter yes of course conclusion now these are the content of your paper organization plot so in in this part paper organization you explain how many chapters you will have in the research and what are they they are introduction theoretical framework research method analysis and conclusion but you have to explain what introduction means and what covers what does this covers and then theoretical review what is it about research method what it is what this research method and analysis what analysis you will explain and then the last is conclusion conclusion okay so once again in this paper organization you explain how many chapters your research will be five chapters okay introduction theoretical framework research method analysis and conclusion and you explain one by one one introduction one paragraph is enough theoretical review also one paragraph research method analysis and conclusion also in one paragraph each not quite long just five paragraphs okay is it quite understandable okay thank you very much goodbye